Hey guys, uh, it's going to take you through a bit of uh, the Ballas theme uh, that I wrote for the uh, the sacrifice quest. Uh, Ballas is an interesting character. You know, he's uh, both, you know, kind of Orokin, kind of sentient. So we we wanted to make sure that we we hit upon all of those flavors uh, when when we were writing the music. So the first thing I wanted to show you is. Uh, the beginning, which has this interesting kind of synth kind of thing going on. Um, I, I was struggling for a while with how to start this off and I wasn't quite sure how to do it because um, I wanted to have a bit of sense of, of foreboding and brooding and mystery. Um, and then, so I was just going through some patches, actually I was using Massive, which is a fantastic synth plugin. Um, and I came across this patch and it just kind of worked, uh, you know. Uh, I'll play a bit of it for you. Um, so it's got it's got that dark kind of mysterious vibe, and a, a cool thing that I like to do is I like to always have things moving on it. 
you know, I always like to, the sounds are never static. So you can see here in the, in the shot here, the cutoff filter is gradually opening up as the synth line plays out throughout the beginning. So it starts very kind of quiet and low, low tones, and then it builds into higher, higher pitches, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, so for the drums, for, uh, for the ballast theme, uh, I wanted to make sure I had some like heavy kind of powerful thunderous kind of sounds going on for it. You know, uh, Warframe is famous for its use of taiko drums and they're very, they're very big drums, they're very powerful sounding uh, and they're very unique sounding. Um, so I, I kind of just started, you know, messing around with some different drum sounds and kind of came up with some interesting patterns and the way I like to work is I work in pieces so I'll do one track at a time. So, you know, you have pretty basic hit there that then gets augmented with another track and then another kind of a, a normal kick drum that kind of gives it weight you know um, then there's another kind of percussive element that's in there as well which kind of gives it a bit of like a unique kind of a Rokin kind of vibe. Uh, and then a bit of a shaker in there, because why not? You always have to have shaker, right? Um, yeah, so that's the basic building blocks for the drums on this track. It's pretty straightforward, actually, but you know, it always takes time when you're trying to figure out which sounds to put in and which sounds will work and that kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of a bit of an overview of how that works. So another element that we wanted to use um, to give it a very creepy kind of vibe. You know, Ballas is a creepy guy. He's got this really weird long arm. It's like, okay, how do you make his, his theme kind of feel creepy and, and mysterious and kind of off kilter? Um, so, you know, uh, I was kind of messing around with some different sounds and, and I kind of came across this one kind of interesting sound that has this high pitch. It almost feels like, like a string thing, but it isn't. It's kind of a weird synth thing that just gives this really creepy kind of mysterious otherworldly vibe. Uh, and it's actually two parts. So I'll play you the first part is this. And then there's a layer that goes on top of that, that's this, together. Just kind of fills it up a bit, you know? It just gives it that creepy kind of vibe, you know? And one thing that I always like to do one thing that like always makes things feel creepier rather than just holding a note is add some pitch bend to it, you know? So you're, as the note is playing, the pitch is kind of changing and it's going down in pitch and it just gives it this creepy, eerie, off kilter vibe. And actually I did that for quite a few of the sounds in this theme to just give them, you know, something, something more, something creepier, something kind of more mysterious and offsetting. You know, uh, the strings at the beginning are a good example too. They, you know, it's this one held kind of note uh, that just like, just kind of the, the pitch of it is going up and down constantly, um, which kind of gives it this creepy vibe. I can play a bit of that for you guys too here. It might be a little hard to hear, but uh, we, can, we can try here. So you can hear it's kind of like going uh, kind of in and out, you know. And it's just making it feel very like off kilter and creepy and like unsettling. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, those, those are some more elements uh, of this track. So in this track, I also knew that we needed something unique and special. Um, and uh, so the human voice is something that people really resonate with. You know, it gives, it gives music a real personality. Um, so we knew that we also wanted, wanted it to feel like, you know, Ballas had this air of majesty and of importance to him. Um, and so we thought, hey, what, what a great idea it would be to put in these, these really strong, full-bodied male vocals. Um, so, so first, this is what I put in. 
You can hear a bit of it here. <laughs> And that's fine on its own, but, um, you know, a common thing to do is to augment samples, this is a choir sample, with real recordings to give it that personality and to really give it a flavor, you know, uh, and, you know, it's still hard to really meld samples into something that, that sounds realistic. Uh, so we recorded one of our sound designers here, Eric, who's a, who's a, who's a singer. Want to take this from the top, or? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 I nailed it that time. No question. So we recorded him multiple times onto about 10 or 12 different tracks here. Um, and then we got, this is just his vocal of that part. Oh. You know, and then when you combine them, you put his part in with that other sampled part, this is what you get. So you get a nice kind of, you know, different amount of timbres in there. You know, you get high parts, you get lower parts, you got mid-range parts. And it just kind of fills it out really nicely in the context of the track.